Hi, welcome to a DIY Tuesday with Oil Life. Today we're going to be talking about treating yourself uh, with essential oils. So we are going to be doing a DIY project out of our um, DIY kit, our summer DIY kit. Um, so with that, just an announcement, those are on sale 50% off. They're normally $4.99, they're on sale for $2.99 or $2.50. Um, from now until tomorrow at 2 p.m. So make sure you take advantage of that. Our second announcement is that we are also doing a giveaway. Um, it is the DIY kit. There's also something special attached to it. So we'll be giving away a 10 pack of polypropylene jars, um, which is one of the recipes that we're gonna be making today. Um, and then an eight ounce oval jar and a deodorant tube. Also all recipes from the DIY kit. So you'll get those three um, bottles and a download. Um, if you comment to win. So that will also be open for 24 hours. We're gonna ask some questions today um, to help you out and give you some ideas and things to comment. Our first question for today is how do you use essential oils to pamper yourself? Um, so we wanna know what oils do you use? How do you use them? Do you use them in DIY projects? Let us know in the comments below to be entered to win that giveaway. Um, also just a reminder of the hashtags for this summer, hashtag summer sharing and hashtag summer of success. Make sure that you're using those so that you can be featured in our autumn lookbook and also during some of our um, other marketing meeting, marketing, marketing media, especially for convention coming up. We're gonna be doing some cool things with social. So make sure you're using those hashtags um, as well as hashtag oil life and hashtag the essential life so that we can find you and we can feature you. And just one last excitement, or, yeah, exciting announcement. I'm super excited to let everyone know um, that the seasonal stickers and recipe book has released, it is online, it is in store. This is all of the stickers and all of the recipes from all of our lookbooks from 2016. So be on the lookout for that, go find it online. Um, we are all excited about that yes. here at Oil Life um, and we're excited to bring it to you. So check that out. Um, and we're now gonna turn the time over to Sarah to take us yes. through one of our recipes. Yes, so for those of you who are watching our Instagram today and wondering, you know, what are we going to make today? Uh, we are going to make a lip balm. So that recipe is actually in our uh, DIY download. So you can get it online. Uh, but we're gonna show you step-by-step step how you can do it. Um, and it's pretty easy, so let's get going. Uh, so first of all, you're gonna take a pan, you're gonna put it on your stove. Um, and we are going to take um, one tablespoon of honey we are going to do two tablespoons of beeswax and two tablespoons of shea butter. Um, so, so it's one, two, two? One, two, two, exactly. I'm going to start with the beeswax because I've got only one cup and I don't want it to get super sticky. Smart. So, uh, we do sell this beeswax here at Oil Life, so um, you can actually pick it up online or come and get it here. Uh, but we do have beeswax, which is awesome. So I'll have two tablespoons of beeswax. Do we need to turn the stove on or not yet? Yes, yes, let's get that stove heating up. There we go. Maybe, maybe not. I can do it. There we go. Okay. okay. Um, so next I'm going to do the shea butter. So I'm going to take two cups, uh, or two tablespoons of shea butter. Two cups, that would be Yeah, two, two cups would be a lot. <laughs> so. Eight it or something. Yes, definitely not doing that today. Uh, so I'm going to try and scoop it in here. If you need to use a spoon to help compact it, make sure you get the right amount. That might be the best way to go. Um, but yes, two tablespoons of shea butter. You're gonna put it in with the beeswax in here. So we've got one, about one right there. So you need to compress it down into the... Yes, you gotta make sure you're getting all of it in there because sometimes it's kind of hard to get the right amount when it comes to shea butter. So I'm going to make sure that's in there with the beeswax. That's one. And then I'm going to get my second one. And I did turn on my stove as you saw. Um, it is on a lower temperature so don't turn it up too high. You don't want to um, have it up super high. Okay, so here's my second one. I'm gonna put that in there. Okay. Um, so the last thing I'm going to do with my tablespoon is one tablespoon of honey. So you can use whatever kind of honey you like. How many of you guys use honey in your DIYs, especially for personal care? Tell us in the comments below how you've used honey. I'm really curious to know. I don't, I've never used honey that I know of. Um, so 
Let us know if you guys use honey and what it's good for and what you like about it. Yes. Okay. Um, so now that those three ingredients are in here, they're going to start to melt and I'm just going to continue to stir it until it's all combined and in a liquidy state. And do you leave it on low setting the whole time? Yes, you are going to leave it on low um, so that it doesn't go too fast. So leave it on low, keep stirring it um, until it's all melted. Okay, awesome. Yes. So I just want to share with you guys a second giveaway we're going to do today. Um, it's going to also be for the next 24 hours. And it is about convention, about doTERRA convention. So we started a Facebook event specifically for that. We're gonna do a lot of fun things in the event from now until convention and, and also during convention. It'll be a really great place to find out about deals and promotions that are going on inside of our tent, um, as well as deals and things that are going on online for those of you who won't be at, in person at convention. Um, so make sure you find that on our Facebook page and RSVP. Um, but the giveaway for the next 24 hours is that anyone that shares um, our event in the next 24 hours, um, either to your timeline or to a group, um, double entry for all the times that you share it in a group, only share it to your timeline once, please. Um, but every time you share it to a group, you'll get double entries for that. Um, but you'll be entered to win. Um, we are going to give away one of these awesome snap clutches that hold um, 12 dram 5 8 drams. Um, and perfect for traveling. They're really chic. It comes in five colors. Um, so we will be picking a winner from everyone who shares our um, convention event in the next 24 hours. We'll be giving away one of these and it will be your choice. Um, it comes in five different colors. It's beautiful brown, uh, faux leather, blue, gold, which is pretty fun and chic. This is a favorite, the pink. Is it called pink on the online? Coral. It's called coral online. Um, and then uh, black, basic black. So make sure that you are finding that event on our Facebook page and then sharing it out. And we can see who shares it and where they share it to. So again, one, um, one entry for sharing it to your timeline. Only do that once. And double entries for sharing it to a group. Um, and we will be watching those for the next 24 hours and uh, entering you to win. So make sure that you're doing that. Um, yeah, how's it going? How's you want to help me stir this while I start opening up our um, polypropylene sure. bottles. So, uh, well these are our 3G polypropylene sample jars. They're awesome. We sell them in uh, these big packs so you can actually get it like this. Um, and one reason why I really like this recipe is it does make um, anywhere from 8 to 10 jars. So. If you want to have them, you know, just for yourself, if you've got, you know, one put one in every purse, or if you want to get them to your friends, or uh, do a kind of DIY night, anything like that, these are going to be awesome for that, because it's going to be one for everybody, there's tons to go around, and they're small and easy, and they just fit in your teeny purse. So, I think they're awesome. Uh, so, I'm going to open these, set them out. Uh, if you are cooking by yourself, you can actually do this beforehand, too, so that works. Um, but yes, so these are really awesome for if you like to do DIY nights or have girls nights or things like that. Definitely recommend making this recipe. Um, and we also, as we said, we're giving away the, uh, the eight ounce squeeze tube as well as the deodorant um, stick. So if you want to make body wash or deodorant with your girls night as well, they're really nice, really fun um, and great to make as a group. So uh, lots of fun recipes in the DIY kit, it's perfect. How's that coming? It's pretty much melted, right? Yeah, there's just a few um, wax beads, but awesome. it's almost done. Okay, so I'm happy to take that over for you. Okay. The last thing that we are going to put in here is spearmint. Spearmint. Uh, so can you tell us a little bit more about yeah. spearmint? So when in doubt about what an oil does, always just turn to the Essential Life book. Um, all of the oils are in here in alphabetical oil. Or Alphabetical oils. Alphabetical oil. Alphabetical <laughs> order. Um, so I just turned to spearmint right here. Um, I personally love spearmint over peppermint just because I don't like the smell of peppermint. And so spearmint is a great substitute for things um, that call for spear or call for peppermint because it does a lot of the same things. It has a lot of the same um, attributes that peppermint does, but it has a different um, smell or aroma. Um, but yeah, just some of the things that it's good for. Um, stress and nervousness, headaches and migraines, um, bad breath, 
which also might be good for your lip balm. Exactly. Um, but it's also just really um, refreshing and cool. And so it's just a really good flavor um, and essential oil to use um, for a lip balm. Um, I'm really excited about this because yeah, we've so. made a whole bunch. And so I might just take one home yes. and use it. <laughs> um, but yeah, so definitely if you don't have the Essential Life book and you're looking for a place to research um, oils and their uses, this is really handy. It's really easy to turn to the page. Like I said, they're in alphabetical order. Each oil has their own page and it's laid out really well telling you the top uses um, and different things that you can do um, with each oil and what it's best for. So I just love looking things up. Yes. So I added the um, spearmint in. Uh, it says you can add anywhere from two to five drops. So I actually added five because I like it to be extra strong. That's just me personally. <laughs> um, and so you remove it from the heat and then you are ready to pour it into the molds. And I would recommend doing it quickly because it does cool down and it starts to set. So definitely want to do it quicker. So I'm going to just pour um, a little bit until I start to run out. So. And while she's pouring that, I'll just remind you again about our giveaway. Um, so we're doing two giveaways. One is commenting below um, to be entered to win um, a DIY download, um, as well as these three bottles right here. So a deodorant tube, an eight ounce um, bottle, and a a package of poly, uh, poly, polypropylene. polypropylene jars um, so that you can have that girls night um, and you have some of the jars already available. And our second giveaway is that we're promoting our convention event. You'll want to be part of that. You'll want to RSVP so you can know all the fun things that we're doing, all the promotions that we're doing. Um, if you share that in the next 24 hours, you'll be entered to win one of our snap clutches. And I've just come in, it's just come to my attention or just been told to me that this is listed as pink on the website. Um, it is popular to call it coral, uh, but it is pink if you're looking it up on the website um, and if you happen to be one of our winners from that. So again, make sure you're sharing that. Share it to your timeline only once. It's for one entry. Share to groups for double entries. Um, and you'll be entered to win one of these snap clutches and color of your choice. Yes. Ooh. So I just finished pouring those. As you can see, I did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I filled ten jars with it. The one recipe. Tons to go around. Yep, with just that one recipe, which is awesome. So I'm just going to let those set up. I'm going to let them cool. Um, we let ours cool overnight, uh, so be aware of that. And this is what they look like when they're done. You can just scroll them right off. And we have these awesome little um, lip balms that you can just put in your purse, you know. Grab it, put it on your lips. They're awesome. Right now. Yes. That's them right now. They're great. So definitely recommend making these. They're super, super easy. Not very much goes into them and it makes a ton, which is awesome. Yeah. So um, they're really great for gifts. They're great for yourself. So my question for you guys is uh, if you were to make these, who would you give them to? Who would you gift an awesome lip balm to? And yeah, that's, that's all there is to it. Um, one last thing we want to highlight is, um, obviously we talked about the convention event, so again, if you Share guys have enjoyed that, me. definitely look into that and we will post all of our updates, um, all our giveaways, things like that in there. So it's a place you want to be, for sure. Yeah. So that's Because that's it, that. just remember to comment below, and oh, also the DIY kits are 50% off for the next 24 hours as well. So make sure you're commenting and sharing this video and ordering, because they're 50% off only for 24 hours. So, yeah, thanks okay. for joining us. We'll thanks. see you next time. See you later.